basilar fracture, as the name implies, is the fracture of the base of the skull. So basilar fracture is fracture of the base of the skull. And so here in this image, for instance, you can see that the fracture could be in the anterior base of the skull, or it can be in the posterior region, where here there is a crack through the left mastoid bone. And so depending on the location of these cracks, the patients can have different symptoms. And so usually clinical signs are used for the diagnosis of basilar fractures. And the four common signs that you need to be familiar with are the raccoon eye, where the patients will have periorbital ecchymosis. The other sign is the battle sign, where there would be post-auricular ecchymosis. In addition, the patient can have otorrhea, where there would be cerebrospinal fluid that is coming off of the um, ears, or there could be hemotympanium, where there is blood that is in the tympanic cavity. And then finally, there could be rhinorrhea, where the patient is having either uh, blood or the uh, cerebrospinal fluid that is coming through the nose. And that concludes our discussion of the basilar skull fractures.